Hey. Good, good. Hi. Hi. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Uh, they called me back and said, well, we're gonna cancel your appointment today because we don't have any of your property here. Even though I have the voicemail from the, uh, the person in that building that said, come on down between one and three on Thursday and uh, we'll take care of it all. And then they called back about an hour ago and said, well, you can't come now, we don't have any of your stuff. And the officer person is not here right now. So I had my lawyer call down and say, you're gonna be in contempt of court for not following through with this judge's order within three days. And then magically, everything was found. I got a whole line of people that are waiting to get their cannabis back, even though it's probably not in good condition and I wouldn't be surprised if some of it's been destroyed and probably not all of it's even here. Um, but there's a long list of people that have been financially damaged by having their widgets seized from them. And I call it a widget because it should be treated like any other widget. It's a medicine, it's a tangible object that people put their time, their money, and their labor and their love into creating. And the police department just came in Gestapo style and took it from the mall. Back in, come down. Copy that. Full of cannabis. Is it any good anymore? Not probably good to. Uh, some of it looks okay to smoke, but some of it has a lot of mold on it. <laughs> There's 20 different types of marijuana in this box. Pardon me, are you gonna open back up? Yes. I don't do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Well, if the city will allow me to, and I hope that maybe I'm grandfathered in. I know the police did an emergency moratorium on all dispensaries opening up. And uh, I would hope that my city would uh, stand behind me and let me reopen if I wanted to, being that I was one of the first dispensaries here in downtown. It's a present for you. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Excited for you. That is nice. I'm going to rock that right now. <laughs> All right. That is quite a little gem. I like that. <laughs> Seeds, all kinds of joints. Look at all that. Infused topical sprays, medicated almonds, medicated chocolate truffles, moldy, of course. Juice. A whole box of those. And they would be outdated, right, Matt? Oh, all of this stuff is expired beyond health and safety, food code, reg all that stuff. You can't, can't be used. Not consumable at this point, with no medicinal value anyway. I'm sure it has a street value. Like the cops like to put on there, the street value. I have a rental property near the Port of Norfolk and it has nothing to do with marijuana at all. And they seized that money and they took all my rental property money out of that account. The Fed seized it. The Vallejo Police Department themselves did. And when I called USAA and I said, what happened? They said, oh, it looks like an entity named the Vallejo Police Department has seized all your money in this account. We got the car. There we go. <laughs> there you go. Free weed. They said it'd be a cold day in hell when he got his weed back. Well, it looks like it's a hot day in Vallejo, baby. Hell's, free, hell's freezing over. <laughs> M for victory. 